Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Saturday, March the 23rd. It's uh, the fifth week of Lent and week seven in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. At midnight I rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. Amen. Please take a moment to reflect on all the blessings you're grateful for this day. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. Amen. Psalms 137 and 144, and please recite them with me. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows there, for it was there that our captors told us to sing a song. They that oppressed us required of us joy, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing God's songs in a strange land? If I should forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I do not prefer Jerusalem above all my joys. Remember, O God, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Tear it down. Tear it down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy are they that reward you as you deserve. Happy are they that take and dash your little ones against the stones. Amen. Blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, the one in whom I trust, who subdues my peoples under me. O God, what are we that you even notice us? Mere mortals that you care about us. Creatures who are like a breeze, our days like a shadow that passes away. Bend your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter the foe. Shoot out your arrows and destroy them. Send your hand from above and deliver me out of great waters from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths speak lies and their right hand is raised in perjury. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. I will sing praises to you. It is you that give salvation to kings, who delivered David your servant from the sword. Rid me of alien foes whose mouths speak lies, and their right hands raised in perjury, that our sons may flourish like saplings, and our daughters may be like graceful columns, polished as though for a palace that our barns may be full with crops of every kind, that our sheep may increase by thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be heavy with young, that there be no ruined wall nor exile, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy the people who are blessed. Happy are they whose God is the Most High. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. They came down to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? 
The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world, for the mission of the church that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for all the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Your blessings fill us with joy, Almighty God, for you give us the victory and set us free from the enemy. Accept this, our humble praise and song. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever.